Hello everyone, this is According to Brie again, and today I'm going to be unboxing and assembling this flower pot hot puppy from the Robot Time Roll Life series. So as you can see, this there's a cute little robo puppy, and it's a pot, and I'm going to be assembling it today. So let's begin. box and on the back is a recommended age which is 40 plus and it's a wooden pot and after that it's just some safety information good to know The box itself is really cute. There's all sorts of little robo creatures on it. And just pull these tabs out. Alright. So everything we need is in this box. Oh. So we have the base pot. A bunch of nice little bonus stickers of all the robot creatures, including Robo Puppy. And all of our wooden parts are in here. Just open that up as well. We've got these wooden, really nice wooden parts and we also have sandpaper. And our instruction manual. They call a toroid. So I'm going to go over this manual and start assembling. Okay, I'm going to get started on the head, but I quickly realized that the glue they provided was already dry. But no worries, I'll just use my own Elmer's glue instead. So I started with the head and I glued everything that needs to be glued, which surprisingly isn't a lot because most of this project relies on you sliding the tabs together. It's a really nice way to put wood together without having to use glue, but it needs a lot of strength sometimes. You're gonna need a lot of finger strength to push the tabs in real hard. And yeah, I'm just going to take out the wood pieces one by one as they are labeled in the instruction manual and slide the tabs in or glue where it has the glue. That's really all there is to this wood assembly project.
Now that the head is done, we're moving on to the body, starting with the base. And after the body base is done, I'm going to start constructing the legs. Tabs are especially hard to insert here because the entire box relied on the tabs to keep it secure and if I was pushing one set of tabs in, sometimes another set would come off and I would have to fix that as well. The accessories and small details are what gives this dog its unique steampunk aesthetic. As you can see, I'm currently assembling the collar and gluing it on. If you remember when I was assembling the head, there are some pieces of wood that I glued on to make the eyes look like gears. And as you can see here, the wood itself also has a paint job. I'm not sure if you're able to notice, but some of the wooden parts have lines and designs burnt onto them. Some of those lines are there as a guide as to where some of the accessories should be, and others are part of the aesthetic itself. Now here comes the daunting part of putting the head and body together. Why daunting you ask? Well, it's because there is absolutely no glue involved in this at all. Instead, you're completely relying on the tabs to secure both parts together. In fact, some of the tabs are so hard to push in that I had to use a hammer just to knock them in place. Then, after putting the two pieces together, it's time for the final touches.
The last part I'm assembling here is the tail. I thought it was a wind-up key or something, but then I realized that's supposed to be the tail. But who knows, it could be both, for all I know. And I really like how the little base is heart-shaped. That's really cute, and I think that contributed to me thinking it was a wind-up key, but oh well. Alright, now for the true final touch is the little bell. I thought I would need pliers for this ring, but they didn't include it. But turns out the ring is pretty easy to bend, so that's not a problem. So I just put it in the hole inside the collar, then bend the ring closed again, and the bell is here. And I'm done. And here's Pot Puppy! As you can see, the little dog shaped pot holder with lots of steampunk aesthetic from the gear eyes to the paint job to the mechanical tail. It's a really nice little pupper, and you can hold the plant inside it too. Anyway, that is it for my. Hot puppy unboxing. I hope you like and subscribe. Bye!